Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're discussing issues that I personally wrestle with with regard to the faith, and today we'll be talking about whether we can expect there to be bodies in heaven. It's a topic we've dealt with before. The traditional teaching is that there's the spiritual heaven that exists now without bodies, and after the final judgment there will be a physical heaven with bodies. So today, I'd like to go over a couple of verses that seem to threaten this teaching to see what they really mean. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly from temptation, but to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be tormented, and especially them who walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, audacious, self-willed, they fear not to bring in sects, blaspheming. 2 Peter 2, 9-10 Walk after the flesh refers to sexual sinfulness. Lust of uncleanness specifies lustful sins as they are in this life. Despise government doesn't refer to any specific human government, but rather it refers to people who hate instruction on general principle, even when the person telling them so is God and legitimately knows better than they do. Audacious self-will doesn't mean merely that they have free will, but that they exercise it boldly against the authority of the church, The meaning of the rest of this verse is obvious. I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. For these are contrary one to another, so that you do not the things that you would. Galatians 5, 16-17 Here, St. Paul uses the term flesh to refer to both the body in this life, but more so to the sinful nature of man, since he then proceeds to give a long list of sins as works of the flesh, none of which are caused by the body itself as such. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are fornication, uncleanness, immodesty, luxury, idolatry, witchcrafts, enmities, contentions, emulations, wraths, quarrels, dissensions, sects, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Galatians 5. 19-21a. to 21a. As you can see, none of these actions can be done by a body alone without any choice on the part of the person's free will, so these actions aren't of the flesh in the literal sense, and even if they were, there would be no reason to think that these verses apply to the bodies in heaven. So, as confusing as verses like these can get, nothing in them seriously challenges the teaching that bodies are good and will exist in the new heavens. Next, Is there anything wrong with laughing? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.